if you lost weight, maybe a limb, your argument doesn't even have a leg to stand on. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pumpkin Manor, a Halloween-themed Minecraft... Good lord. Uh, Minecraft puzzle... Uh, puzzle slash adventure map from what I gather. Uh, it's a couple years old as it plays on Minecraft 1.14. It's last year, something like that. It's a little bit older of a map, but I figured since we're well into spooky season now, you know, spooktober, and getting ready for Halloween, or I suppose if you're a big party animal, Dankoween, you really got me there. I figured we could do a Minecraft, a Halloween-themed Minecraft map. Uh, now, obligatory... Obligatory uh, introductory remarks. Please make sure you're subscribed. Please like the video if you want to see more content. Please subscribe. I love subscribers. I'm a pretty fun guy to watch, I think. End of obligatory Minecraft comments. So set brightness to don't break blocks. There are hints in each room. Thank God. I will probably need them. Uh, do not take items. All right, let's start. Oh, it just... The, ru <laughs> the rusty pickle. So it, it just jumps me right in, don't it? Pumpkin Manor. Oh, hint book. What's this do? That seemed awfully loud. Yeah, that seems just a bit loud. But it could also be because I have my... Well, it, it might be loud. I guess I'll find out post-editing. So, Lily of the Valley? Show your respect for the dead? What's this? Oh, oh, that's the, that's the hint book. Okay. So... I have to figure out how to get into the building? Is that what I'm doing? Interest. You know what? I bet I have to put these four lilies of the valley. Oh, yeah, I got to put these four lilies of the valley on some of the on certain ones of those gravestones. It probably has to do with either the order or the particular frowny face. Probably the particular face. So this fine gentleman here is definitely. Oh, before I forget. Oh, yeah, that's going to be an awesome screenshot. Nice. Maze of murder. Am I, like, going to starve to death here? Huh. So there's that pumpkin face. Ah, oh, that's kind of neat. It's definitely kind of cool. The sheep is the thing that scared the most. Okay. There, there's sheep around, apparently. Lots of sheep around, apparently. Excuse me, sir. If you lost weight, maybe a limb, your argument doesn't even have a leg to stand on. Nope, I'm not going that way. Well, this was interesting. Wait, so are there actually like four pumpkins here? I see one pumpkin, two pumpkin, three pumpkins, four pumpkins? Wait a second. What's the face on this one? It's kind of got like the unibrow smile. Where is unibrow smile guy? Unibrow smile guy.
I don't know if this is actually considered cheesing it or not, but it allowed me to do it, so I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, okay, that face guy. Two. So we got that face guy, that face guy, dead face guy. All right. So I've got dead face guy, and then he's kind of like that scarecrow looking face. Aha! Oh, look at me. I'm way, I am way too smart. Well, oh, hey, it's a, uh... so, interesting. Okay, so, looks like there's a, it looks like there's many a different puzzle throughout here. How many floating books in the library? Oh, so do I have to indicate? So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Interesting. How many lost their heads in the nether? How many skeletons in the lab? How many ghosts in the kitchen and pantry? So, anything here I need to grab? Oh, that's a hint book. I'm not going to use that. Back there of interest now. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. I really like the design of this. Could go for some music though, right? About meow. Wait, how many floating library how many floating books in the library? That's one. That's two. And that's three. So let's go mark that off. How many floating books on library? One, two, three. I hope that's it. I hope that's how you uh, calculate that all out. Excuse me. Book of items, book of colors, hint book, skeleton skull. So what am I supposed to do in here? First clue, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. So what does the number, is this binary? So if this is binary, we have uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 156. Wait a second. This is binary, base 10, hexadecimal, I think. Book of items. Axe. Sword, shovel, creeper, skeleton, zombie, rose, tulip, lily. Book of colors. Red, blue, green, gold, iron, black, gray, pink, white. So what is... Well, that was interesting. Sup. So why is there... Book of items, axe, sword, shovel, creeper. Axe, sword, shovel, creeper. Am I already stuck? Skeleton skull. So, oh. Axe, sword, shovel, creeper, skeleton, zombie, rose, tulip, lily. So this is... But what bothers me... Color item turns. Take the book. The 
book of colors. So red, blue, green, gold, iron, black, gray, pink, white. But then the book of numbers, 28E in hexadecimal is, that's a very high number. That's a super high number in hex. It's a lot of books too. And why do I have a skeleton skull? So there's a lily, tulip, rose, zombie, skeleton, creeper, shovel, sword, axe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight directions, so it's not that. Color item turns. Six hundred six four six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there's twelve frames. So where does the zero start? Zero, group of four, zero, da, 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 da. but then axe, axe, sword, shovel, there's no shovel, am I missing a hint somewhere? Can you believe I've all I've broken out of 100% of the escape rooms I've participated in? Crazy, right? So I have four colored lilies, red, white. I'm not supposed to take items out of the picture frame, so taking stuff out isn't part of the equation. So red and the axe is red. But how does that help me? Blue, green, gold, iron, black, gray, pink, white. Lily. All right, 10, 11, 12. So that would be one. And that would be another eight, so nine. What does this equate to actually in, in binary? So that would be zero zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one to base ten. That's 985, but I don't think that helps us. 985, Lily. Then what's 28E? E. 28E to decimal is Oh, that's not right. Six hundred and fifty four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a second. 
646. So I highly doubt the guy would expect people to be doing stuff in binary and hexadecimal. Or the map creator. 240. Hmm. Crushed that puzzle. Got stuck on this one. Just ignore me. Are you kidding me? So he does expect us to convert them into binary. Uh, I would have never gotten the octal. Wait, so, so I was right. I need a piece of paper. Time for the internet. So we have zero zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one to decimal is going to equal nine eight five. Then we have our next one, uh, six forty six to so that's octal six forty six octal to decimal. is 422, 422. And then our last one here, the 28E, uh, 28E, hex to decimal would be 600, 654. So you might be asking yourself, how does this help us? Not a clue. Is there a book or something that I need or anything interesting in these books? Nope, they're just books. So this is defined as the color item turns. Nine eight five color item turns. The hint book. Color item turns. Color item turns. Wait a second, an axe. An axe that is white so an axe that is white but where does that help me how does that help me Color item turns. Okay, I get color item turns. Look above the lecterns. Anything else above any lecterns? I'm losing, I'm rapidly losing respect for myself the further I go along in this puzzle. So I get that there's color item turns. So what? White gets turned nine times? Which doesn't make sense because what about a sword? What about a white flower? Or is that a tulip? I don't know what the white flowers end up being. Maybe lilies? Wow, that sudden sound scared the hell out of me. How does this make sense? Okay, this still doesn't help me. Okay. Before I lose the respect of everybody that I, whose opinion I value, I'm going to end the video here. This is episode one. It has been highly unsuccessful. 
Because baby, I'm struggling and I'm going to figure out this puzzle. So when we come back next time, hopefully we'll be through this. Until then, be seeing you.